Hey everyone, it's Bobby for Zero for One, and this is part two of everything I got at Briarfest. In part one, I showed you all of the tack that I purchased, as well as a shirt and some extra things that are actually over here now. Um, so in this one, I'm going to show you models, and I got 19 horses, so I'll try to hurry and be pretty fast. So to start off, um, me and my grandmother painted some horses, and these are the two we painted. This is my grandmother's, and I think she did a pretty good job. It was her first time painting a horse. And this one is mine. He is a Bay Appy, and I'm going to work and touch him up a little bit, uh, clean up his tail a little bit, uh, repaint his hooves tan, and add black um, stripes to them. Uh, a touch up his mane a little bit. I did extend his mane and his tail. Um, pink his muzzle um, th there and under his shoulders. And I'm also going to probably redo his eyes. They are kind of detailed, but I would like it better if I redid them. So he's going to be a new custom. I'll probably do a video when he's all done. Then for participating in the survey in the U show, we got this little free stable mate uh, tack set with this gray warm blood and now I'm going to do regular runs that I got uh, my two more as boons, special runs in order from most made to least made um, rare briars and peter stones so this might be in two parts but I'll try to make it in one so the first little girl that I got or not first this isn't in order of how I got them but um, the first one I'm going to show you is this little girl. She is a black and white um, American Saddlebred paint. And she is my new uh, Saddlebred to show. She is completely LSQ and her name is Rockin' Rhythm. She is really cute. Her markings are all very crisp. And she placed in the youth show. And I will tell you her placing in that video. The next horse that I got is Brookside Pink Magnum. He is going to join, join my show string. Um, he is very nicely done. His only flaw is that weird mark right there. Um, yeah, I'm going to try to get it off though. He has pretty crisp markings and I handpicked him from four others. So he is pretty much LSQ besides that. And he does not have a name yet, so name suggestions would be helpful. And he's going to join my join my show string and switch off with Golden Glory as a Welsh Pony, either Section C, A, or B. I'm not sure which one yet. Probably B. Uh, the next horse that I got is a 2000, or I don't know when it was, like 2006, 2007, uh, Treasure Hunt horse the on the Lady Faye's mold. I got the Black Abbey, and this horse is very, very pretty. Her markings are all quite crisp. Um, she reminded me of my trainer because my trainer loves black and white appies. So, and I got her for $25 at the Briar store. She was $3 and I bought the saddle red and her together and Brookside was $21. And she is going to be my new Appaloosa and my show string and I showed her at the show and she did place so you will see that placing in that video. The next horse that I got is Fox Hunt, and this horse I think is just really nicely done. Uh, the scene, as you can see, there is a rider on a gray horse uh, blowing his horn to these two that are jumping over the fences. The hounds are obviously running after him, and then on this side we have these two joining the hunt with these three hounds, and then on the front is the fox hiding in a bush, which I thought was just really cute. Um, she does have braids, and she looks very, very show-like. And she's glossy, of course, so I had to get her because she's glossy. She was shown in the new show, but did not place, which is okay. Alright, um, the next two horses that I'm going to show you are my two Mariah's Boons. And they are really nice. Um, I am going to sell one. I am not sure which yet. Excuse me, um, but they're both very, very nice. And obviously, I showed, I think it was this one in the youth show. I'm pretty sure it was this one. Um, and he did not place, but that's okay. 
the one I'm going to keep is going to be called an English Wonder. And I will have one for sale. Um, I just think he is a really nice model. Um, the only the, how I tell them apart is that this guy's tail shading is a lot darker than this guy's. All right. So now we're gonna move on to special runs, and this video is probably going to be 15 minutes long. So just bear with me. I'm going as fast as I possibly can and showing you them in detail. So the first special run that I got, or the special run that has the highest made that I got, is the one that has 1400 made, and that is Antry. And I love this guy to bits and pieces. Um, I just, I love this mold. I didn't think I would, but I do. And he is just really nicely, I mean his shading is just so nice. And his markings are all quite crisp. His back hooves that have the socks are tan and striped. And I just really love him. His only flaw is a shiny mark. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah. Right there, that shiny mark on his hip. Um, but I'm going to show him on this side, so that's okay. Um, if anyone can tell me what this color is, I would love you for like ever. Um, I just really would like to know so I can try to find a picture of a thoroughbred with this color for like a show reference because I showed mine in the thoroughbred class but he did not place because of I believe it would be his coloring because his confirmation is like right on. It's just um, the coloring part that I'm not even sure what it's called. So if you guys know or have any idea of a color that looks somewhat like that, would you please like comment, PM me, let me know. Um, his name is Golden Gravity. The Appy's name is Enchanted Spirit. Bookside doesn't have a name. Name suggestions would be helpful. Uh, her name is Beautifully British, and one of my Mariah's boons, the one that I keep, is going to be called an English Wonder. So I'm going to move on to the next special run. There's 1,200 made of this guy, and that is Tunbridge Wells. And this guy, I know a lot of people didn't really like him, but I, I do, I love this guy. I think he's really nice. Um, he is huge. Like, even bigger than Boone over there. But I do like him. He does have quite crisp markings. Um, I like the paint job under his stomach. Breakfast 2012 on his stomach. Um, the only part that I do dislike, I mean his main, I mean his main, his uh, blaze right there is really nice and his eyes are nicely detailed. Um, the only thing I do not like is that he has no mane whatsoever. Like, it's completely roached off. There's nothing there. I would at least like it if they could have done a braided mane or something. I would have actually like loved it if they'd done a braided mane. But they didn't. But that's okay. Um, his only flaw is that right there on his leg. I don't know if it'll focus. Yeah. It almost looks like he was burned or something. Like, it's, it's a weird shiny mark where the paint kind of came off and was differently colored, and I'm not sure if he came with that. I am honestly have no idea, because in the U show, I showed him on the side, and he did place, and you'll see that placing in the U show video. Uh, his name is Designed for Magic. Okay, so we're going to move right along. The next special run that I was able to purchase is Sixes and Sevens, and she is probably one of my favorite special runs that I purchased while um, I was there. Um, her braided mane, her tail, her appy markings, the coloring of her, like her shading, how it goes darker down here, her hooves that are nice and tan and striped. I'm just absolutely in love with this horse. Um, she does not have a name, so name suggestions would be helpful. I just absolutely love her. As you all know, I'm an Appaloosa freak and a gloss freak, so it's an appy that is glossed, and it's the best of both worlds for me, so I absolutely love this girl. And I know a lot of people were kind of on the fence about her, but after seeing her at, in person, I loved her to death. Um, and she is on a run under 450 because 450, uh, 400 of them were glossed and 400 of them were matte and I got a glossy version. So, or at least I believe 400 were of both because there were 800 in total. Um, and then, as you all know, 
I needed to get a surprise horse, so I did get a surprise horse, and that would be little Rumor Has It here, that is his name, and he is the Champagne Gruella, Gruella, um, Gruya, sorry, <laughs> Gruella, Gruya uh, coloring, and I think he was the most common, I'm not sure, but I absolutely love this guy. Um, he does have the stripe on his back with striping there on his legs. He has a cute little star that is nice and crisp as well as a hind sock and tan hoof. Um, this guy is completely flawless and as you all know now the surprise mold is on the flash mold which I didn't like at first um, but he's my first horse in the flash mold and I absolutely adore this mold now and I would really uh, want more in this mold. The other colors, for those of you who don't know, there is a Scruia color. There was also a chestnut sorrel dapple horse that some people said was a silver bay, but to me looked more chestnut and sorrel than silver dapple. Um, it was dappled. And then there was a black leopard appy and a bay paint. And every single color came in glossy, but there were only, I believe, someone told me, 10 of, made of each glossy um, color. So there was a total of 40 glossies. Um, of the surprise horses made and there was only 10 of each color and I only I have seen all the glossies of this color or of the surprise horses I saw the glossy leopard uh, glossy paint and glossy chestnut in the youth show and then at the Clarion I saw glossy Gruya for $500 so I have seen one of each um, I'm almost done I have six horses to go so, moving right along, um, this is the last briar that I'm going to show you, and I don't know if you guys can guess, so guess what briar you think I got. This is a rare model. So make a guess in your head, and then you'll see if, you, if you're right. Alright, the horse that I got that is really rare is Carlisle. I am so happy that I was able to get this boy. Um, I was in the running for him. I was probably the seventh or eighth person called to receive this little boy. Um, we paid twenty dollars. Twenty, yeah, we paid twenty dollars for twenty-four tickets, and we were the seventh or eighth person called. So technically, I only I got this guy for only twenty dollars, and he is just magnific magnificently gorgeous. I believe. Um, he has mapping along his paint marks as well as he does have some slight dapples along his barrel and his shoulder. Um, he is just really beautiful. I don't see any flaws with mine. His face is really cute. He has a little snip and a blaze and his eyes are nicely detailed. There's his eyes. His ears are back. He does not have a mane but they did shade it in so that makes it better for me. Um, and his stand, obviously. It does say Barfest 2012 on his stomach. And his tail is really cute. With the little polo pony wrap there. Um, yeah. So, for those of you who have not seen Carlisle yet, there he is in all of his glory. Uh, he does not have a name, so name suggestions would be helpful. His only flaw is that his stand, he's really wiggly on his stand but that's okay because he's not just going to come clear off he's just kind of wiggly he can be uh, detached from his stand though so those are all the briars that I got all the way up until those guys and all the tack over there so now I'm going to show you I was able to purchase five Peter Stones because I was at the um, at our hotel there was a Peter Stone warehouse sale and all those, the Peter Stone show and all those things were taking place at the Marriott Griffin Gate Hotel where I was staying. So over the course of three days I bought five horses and I'm going to go from least expensive to most expensive. So the first least expensive one that I got is William and this is a little chip um, warm blood and he's really cute. He does have so he has a little black dot on his me on his neck, excuse me, right there you can kind of see. But he is really cute and he was only twenty dollars. 
so I had to get him because all the other chips were like $50 so I had to get him and that is William he is not gonna have a name change um, I really like his name because it is of importance to me the name so his name is not gonna be changed alright uh, the next horse that I got that was the second most expensive is this girl um, she, uh, her Peter Stone name is Cool Ridge and she was on the warehouse sale table for thirty dollars she is really really cute she has a little snip and a star her eyes are pretty cute um, she is the traditional weanling um, pose nothing is different or uh, changed on her her only flaws for me would be that her finish feels kind of unfinished on along her back it feels rough and then the only other flaw would be um, that her back hooves were not painted tan which I don't know if that is supposed to happen or not I'm gonna have to look at the horse on the website again but she is a 2012 collection horse so she isn't like a special horse or anything so that is her her show name for me that I came up with is a uh, sweet and sassy all right the next horse that I got that was third least expensive is this girl she is a uh, pebbles saddlebred on the website she is also a 2012 collection horse and on the website it says that she is a bay dark bay but I look at her as being black um, because she looks black she doesn't really look bay to me so she might be a bay for some of you but to me she's black and white her tail I love her tail to like pieces it's just so pretty her hooves are nice and stretched out and um, lined and striped and she does have a little side snip her eyes are really cute uh, she is glossy she's the only glossy one that they had there the name Peter Stone gave for this girl was Dawson but I changed her name to be Domino Effect so her like bar name is going to be Domino and that's her I really am hoping that I can go to a Peter Stone show um, sometime soon or find one that accepts Peter Stones because all of mine are pretty much LSQ except for a few minor flaws. So, yeah. The fourth least, least expensive that I got is my first traditional and it is the pony mold. He, his name from Peter Stone was Dallas but I changed his name to Half-Blood Prince because, um, I want to show him as a PO, uh, Pony of the Americas, uh, POA. Yeah, um, because he does have the appy markings on his butt, as you can see. His tail is braided and swishing. Um, his hooves aren't striped, they're just a light tan. And he does have pinking right there, and right there, also right there. It is it is molted. You can see the molted skin right there. Um, he does have the nice and braided mane, as well as really nice detailed eyes and molted skin around his face. His only flaw that he has is a little chipped ear, but it isn't amazingly noticeable. This would probably be his show side for me. I'd probably show him on this side. And as most of you may or may not know, a Pony of the Americas is made up of an Appaloosa pony and an, Amer an Arabian. So he would be a half-blood prince, which is what his name is. Uh, prince for short. So he's probably one of my favorites. Uh, my only and my first, my only and first traditional that I have right now. In the last horse I'm going to show you, this is going to be a super long video, but the last horse I'm going to show you guys is the one that I got in memory of my sister, and this is her. Her name is Mina, and it's going to stay that way. Um, th that's the name that Peter Stone gave her, and that's going to be her name for us because we believed that that name just fit her really nicely. She is a red roan. Um, paint, or not paint, sorry, Appaloosa, little weanling. She is amazingly gorgeous. She has these striped hooves and the white sock with the tan hoof. Her face is really cute. She has a little, she has a redone mane and a redone tail that is kind of flipping out. And her appy markings are really nice. Her little um, red roan markings there, her eyes. 
and she is my sis. I got her for my sister. She was $130. Um, I think we got $8 off. So, and we bought her and William together. So the total purchase was $152. Um, but we got $8 off of her. So she was roughly like $122, $123. Um, and then with Half Blood Prince, I don't know if I told you, but he was originally um, 90 we got $10 off, and then they took $4 off because there was an auction going on at that time when we bought him. He was the last horse I bought, um, so we got him for 76 And that is all my horses. This is a super long video, so uh, that is all my 19 horses. And as an overview real quick, I got these five lovely Peterstones. Um, Carlisle, my four special runs. Two more eyes boons, one will be for sale in a for sale video later. Uh, those four guys, the Silvermate and Silvermate painting um, horses, my Arabian tax set, Arabian halter, varied halters, and uh, fly sheets and blankets. Saddle pad, little fly, little bonnet things there, another fly sheet and halter, and then I did move these over here. So I got the briar shirt. And this has just tons of pins and things in it. So, thank you so much, you guys, for if you watch this whole thing, for enduring this with me. Um, so that's all I got. I had an amazing time with some awesome people. And um, the next video to come out will be a youth show video and then a for sale video. And I also am going to upload more performance videos. So thank you so much for watching, you guys. Have a great day. And I will see you all later.